If you watch YouTube videos about Amazon KDP, Smashwords, or any book publishing strategy, it becomes apparent pretty quickly that there's a steep learning curve on creating and selling books online. It's not simple. It is time consuming and it can be frustrating watching a video and you're thinking, I'm a beginner. I don't even know the concepts that you're talking about. So in this video, I'm doing a big picture overview designed for absolute complete beginners about writing and publishing a book online with the intention of making some sales. So let's cover the bare bones basics on making some money selling books online. All right, welcome to this overview. And if you've never heard of me before, my online handle is Zen Water Cooler, and I mostly do passive income videos and print on demand videos. So I definitely think that publishing books to earn passive income is an awesome business model. It's great passive income. I've published about 10 books over the years. Some are fiction books like novels, some are nonfiction books, and I've used Amazon KDP. Uh, it's called Create Space for a physical copy. And I've also used Smashwords, and I'll be talking about those in this video. So basically, I have books on iTunes, Amazon, etc. So I used to write about a book a year back when I was younger and full of energy, but then I actually thought books were dying. Boy, was I wrong. In the last couple years, technology has finally caught up with authors, and there's more opportunity than ever to write and publish your own book for fun and profit and connect with a worldwide audience. Okay, so if you're watching this video, chances are that you enjoy writing books or you're interested in turning your hobby into some sort of a business. Wonderful, awesome. The big advantage these days to selling books online is that you don't need to buy a bunch of books in advance. In the old days, and I am old enough to be part of the old days, I would publish my book and then I would have a box of them delivered to my house and I'd have them sitting in the basement for a couple of years. So you had to buy a minimum back in the old days to even get a book published. So Merry Christmas, you get a book, you get a book, you all get a book because I did not want to move that box from apartment to apartment anymore. So you don't need to do this anymore. You simply upload your finished manuscript to a site like Amazon and it just sits there digitally. And then when someone buys one copy, that's when the book gets printed by Amazon, for example, and shipped. So the purpose of this video is not going to be a huge deep dive. It's not an hour long video. This is just a quick overview. However, there's three big picture ideas that I think you need to master in order to be successful in the book space. So you'll want to make a note of these three things and learn them over the next weeks or months in order to be successful. Skill number one, you need to be able to physically create a book. So this means either writing a book, like typing it out in Word, or you can create what's known as a low content book. And that's something like a coloring book, a puzzle book, or some sort of a journal. Skill number two, you need to be able to navigate the murky waters of actually getting your book published online. So there's a few options that we'll cover in this video. Um, it's Amazon KDP is a big one. And then there's another one called Smashwords. And there's actually two options inside of Amazon KDP that we'll talk about. Skill number three, you need to understand the niche that you want to publish in. Now, I don't want to gloss over that last part. Skill number three is the niche. So what typically happens is that Johnny, the author, is all excited about making money publishing. So he spends three months every day, every night writing a book. No friends, no family. He's exhausted, but he finally did it. The book is finally completed. Then he spends another two months trying to figure out how to publish his book. And after two months of gut-wrenching work, he finally gets it up on Amazon. And then nothing. No sales. Crickets. No nothing. No one cares, Johnny the author. Your book is collecting dust on the digital bookshelf. So don't spend five months on a passion project and never make any sales. Figure out which niches are actually good for sales. Give yourself a fighting chance. Here's a quick overview. 
So most writers, when they first start out, they want to write novels. This is like when you're 14 years old and you're all excited about being an author. You picture somebody like a John Grisham or a Stephen King. That's their idol. So here's the sad truth. 99.999999% of novelists don't make any money. No one knows who you are. And therefore, no one is going to buy your book. It doesn't matter if it's the greatest novel in the world. No one knows you. However, before you throw away your laptop out the window in disgust, there are some specific niche opportunities for novelists. So an easy way to see what niches you may be interested in is to go to Amazon. So whatever country you're in, like for example, I'm in Canada, so I go to Amazon.ca. Then I go to Books. And then I scroll down and you'll see book categories. There's all sorts of niches like biographies, LGBTQ, humor, self-help, erotica. There's lots of different niches. So you can really get specific when you're writing. Like maybe you cross a vampire genre with alternative history, for example. So you have the vampire running around in a world where the American Civil War ended differently. You get the idea. Now, if you're not a name that people know, then another option that's really good is nonfiction books. Nonfiction books typically sell much better. This is because people want to read a book to solve a problem in their life. So there's books like self-help, finance books, etc. These are really popular nonfiction niches because there's typically a big demand for them. Now, there's also low-content books. And these are really popular on Amazon. Now, you need a physical copy to do these low-content books, generally speaking. The idea here is that you create a book cover, but the actual interior of the paperback book, it's not just pages and pages of text. So you would do a children's book, for example. That's mostly simple text, a couple sentences, and some pictures. You could do a coloring book, for example. That's just high-res pictures. You could do a puzzle book or even just a journal. So for a journal, the book is basically just a cover and then a bunch of blank or semi-blank pages. All right, so to create an actual manuscript that you can turn into a workable book that you can sell, you need pages. So if you're writing a book, that's pretty easy from a technical perspective. You can get pages in Microsoft Word. You just write text. So typically a novel is around 60,000 to 80,000 words. That's a lot of work to write a novel. But it's worth it, though, if you're writing a nonfiction book or a novel that's in demand. So if you're creating a low-content book, like if you're doing a coloring book, for example, then you'll need pages that are high-resolution PDF, and that stands for Portable Document Format. So a PDF file is like a digital page. So high-resolution would be at least 300 DPI, and DPI just means dots per inch. And lots of people even go up to 600 DPI. So the images, when they're printed, are crisp and clear. I would recommend using a program like Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator to create vector files. So if you're working on a coloring book and you need high-res pictures, these are great options. Vectors are infinitely scalable, so you can make big, big, really big pictures. For publishing your book, there's lots of different options, but I'm going to keep it really simple. So there's two options here that I think you should consider. Option number one is Amazon KDP. Amazon is the world's largest bookseller, and this is the way to get your book in either a paperback book or an ebook format. It's relatively easy. An ebook is just a digital copy, and that means you can read that on a mobile device like your phone or an iPad, an electronic book reader, that kind of thing. Amazon KDP is really easy to use relative to other programs. So first, Google Amazon KDP, and I'll also put the link in the video description below, and then you can sign up or you can log in. And then when you're logged in, you basically have an option to either create an ebook or create a paperback. Now you can create both, but the process is different for each one. Option number two is Smashwords. I really like Smashwords. Smashwords is a powerful tool where you can publish your text file and it winds up as an ebook. 
And then they have a great distribution system that stretches out to Apple, Barnes & Noble, and Overdrive. It's quite a kick. The first time I published on Smashwords, I downloaded a copy onto my iPad, and it was pretty neat to be on vacation and read my own book on an iPad. That was a nice feeling. So they have a great distribution system. Now, Smashwords is a bit clunky to use, and there is a learning curve, but I really do think it's worth it. I've sold lots of books on Smashwords, and it's definitely worth the effort. Now, for Smashwords, there's a really long-winded style guide that will make you cry if you try to read the whole thing. It's an absolute beast. So I would just recommend that you have a straight-up text file. That's what you should start with. So don't include formatting or pictures, just text. And then you can upload that into Smashwords. You can also start with a smaller short story. And if you have that on file, just upload that into Smashwords and test it out. So you can test out the process before dedicating months of your life to writing a novel. So lots of people list their short stories on Smashwords for about 99 cents. And they actually make some pretty good sales. I think 99 cents is a great price point. People can read it when they're commuting, for example. Smashwords takes 10% of the sale, but it really is passive income once you publish your ebook. I get a royalty check every month, and there's books that I published 10 plus years ago in the world that are still making sales. I hope you found this high level overview helpful. Make sure to check out my other channel, Crafty Stacks, and I'm going to be doing some deep dive technical videos into the world of Amazon KDP and Smashwords. So much more deep dive detail videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.